Okay, so on this video for class, what we're doing is uh, showing application of the ice bags. So I'm gonna make a bag super quick and then we'll talk about that. Um, when I make a bag, um, it's gotta be proportional to the body part that we're gonna treat. So I've, I've got the ice in there, I try to squeeze out, and this has actually been done on another video, um, but we wanna get the air out of the bag as best possible. Some people suck it out and I just squeeze the bag and I go ahead and roll roll this up top so I get this nice cord. And I'm always gonna tie the bag towards the top so it can spread out and I can actually put more you know, surface area, the ice bag, on the body part. I'm gonna zoom in down there. All right, so, um, so some of the do's and don'ts about actually putting on um, ice bags. Uh, we happen to use uh, the Flexi wrap a lot. You can actually use uh, Ace wraps. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, the do's and don'ts. Um, so let's focus on anchoring first, okay? So an anchor just means, so if we were gonna go ahead and put an ice bag on um, uh, Sam's knee, uh, there's a couple things I also wanna consider too. He's sitting here on the table, I actually might have him stand. So it's gonna be the position that I have the athlete in. So I might actually have him stand and put his leg on one of my, so Sam, stand up for me real quick. And then go ahead and put your heel up on that stool. That's so I can get to his knee better. And in terms of, we talk about anchoring, um, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and put the flexi wrap on and anchor at, at the distal area of the body part lower than um, the uh, knee that we're gonna go ahead and put the ice on. And Sam, would you hand me a bag of ice there real quick? And this is something to have the athlete be uh, helpful in this case. So go ahead and hold it where you want it. And so I've got this anchor. What I wanna do now is apply that flexi wrap and I wanna pull on that flexi wrap to make it fit nice and snug. And if you pull too tight and it tears off, that's fine. At least you're then getting some good application. We want to make sure that we apply that, um, the ice bag where um, proximally it's secure and also distally down here it's secure. We don't want him to leave and then all of a sudden it starts to melt and then it slides off. So we're pretty snug down here, we're pretty snug up here, but you can always then come back down and hit that distal area again and go around that area nice and snug and then just come right back up again to the proximal area and then end, end proximally. One thing I didn't do with this ice bag that I teach the kids a lot is if they're putting it on, they realize that there's a bubble created on the ice bag, um, pop a hole in it and then go ahead then and go over that so we go ahead and close it up. Um, so the next ice bag we're gonna go ahead and is put one on the ankle. So uh, hold on that there for me, Sam. Again, making the athlete uh, be helpful. Um, I would go ahead and start an anchor and again, teaching the kids about you know anchoring it off first. It just makes it easier when we go ahead and put this flexi wrap on. So I'll go ahead and anchor it off here into the distal part of the foot. Um, Sam's got his uh, sock on and those are considerations too. Uh, some athletes you know want that extra barrier. A lot of times I'm kind of, hey, let's just go right to the skin. So let's go ahead and put this on. And depending upon where we need to um, you know ice that ankle, a lot of times we're dealing with obviously lateral or, or inversion ankle sprain. So we want to make sure that we get that ice on on the uh, lateral aspect of the ankle. So what we got now here is we're in a situation where we want to secure this ice bag. And I'm kind of going around if you look at this and I can actually even do like a figure eight. So I've done a figure eight to hold it. And, and I, maybe you can see this here where there actually is now starting to get um, a, a, a bubble in the bag. I can always on this one too, I can just kind of spiral my way all the way up going from distal to proximal. I wanna make sure that I'm secured down here distally where the bag won't slide out. So here's an opportunity where we could say, eh, I've got a hole in the bag. Let's go ahead and do a little pop and let some of that air out. And then we can kind of continue then to wrap over that. And then we're up here at the proximal area, excuse me, to end the, um, um, the wrap. And I wanna make sure is it secure down here distally where it's not gonna slide out? And of course up there approximately. So then I'm just gonna tear it off there. Again, use that tension in, that, uh, um, in the flexi wrap to make it fit nice and snug. So if you look at this, we're gonna get then that cold and compression all in one, okay? So again, these are just some uh, ways to put on uh, the flex wrap in the lower extremity. Uh, we could apply, if we needed to do ice to the shin, the same thing, use that distal to proximal application, anchor it down first. If you get a hole in the, uh, I mean, excuse me, if you get a, a bubble of air in the bag, 
pop it and make sure you secure it over it. The biggest thing is we just don't want the athlete to be leaving the training room and they get outside and let's say they walk around, you know, 100 feet and the next thing you know, the bag has fallen off. I said, then it's a waste of our time and their time. We've got to reapply it. Okay, cool.